So what are they using now? Like more ceramic kind of in that material? Mix? Ceramic, ceramic is the material. Uh, mm -hmm. Ceramic is one material and expensive. But I was talking about the asbestos that asbestos still still in today's breaks. Uh, but the percentage is very very low. Uh, okay. Ceramic is you know ceramic means what? Ceramic means means silicon, means sand. Well, I never do that. Yeah. Again, guys, here here is the uh, the rotors of the desks, and you guys know now that uh, about all this uh, uh, holes right here, the front kind of design. So engineers do what? Engineers do create this kind of uh, designs, and, and they put them in a test, and they measure the temperature, and they found, and they found if you have this kind of design, look at this design, that they they very up and down. But remember, the whole, all the shapes has one purpose, is to dissipate the heat. The heat is a big problem. If the, if the disc or the rotor is overheat, uh, now friction is going to go down very quick. Yeah, now you step on the, on the pedal or you put the lever and the bike doesn't want to stop. Why? Because the, the brakes overheat. So they had they had to come up with different design to dissipate the heat. So when you see a rotor like this one, you know heat is the is the main reason to so make the design that looks like this one. And this one here, you have, I can see that it has bolts. You see when you bolt when you bolt when you bolt the, the the disc, now we have more materials touching each other. You have more materials touching each other, and that's what affects uh, dissipating the heat. So it's better to have like rapids than having bolts. Question about this one. And I can tell this one doesn't have ABS because ABS is gonna have the front uh, the front uh, rotor, the front uh, wheel right here. But again, if you, if you, if you see the ABS of the uh, of Harley, the new Harley. Anybody heard the new Harley? No. No. Nobody has a nobody has a new Harley. Uh, no. The new Harley. They are they are not using uh, ABS rotor on the desk like the other bikes. The new Harley they are using uh, the ABS as part of the hub. Yes, it's part of the hub. Not, we are not using uh, rotary on the next to the to the brake disc. So if you have if you have uh, uh, a Harley, let Harley with the ABS. Remember, the ABS is part of the hub itself. But the ABS only works when the bike is is is, is straight up. Uh, on mine, the O11, and it, it when you turn when you're not turning, but when you are leaning. It doesn't. It the, the ABS. It doesn't kick it in until you're sitting straight up on the bike. So the computer, the, the ABS computer is is uh, is uh, uh, operating this way. It's designed this way. The bike has to be upright to start to start working, right? That's your yeah. Point. Yeah. So it doesn't work when you when you when you're leaning. When you're leaning. Actually, actually, I mean, what kind of bike you have? I have, I have a, um, I have two bikes. I have a, um, a Harley. It's an O11. It's a soft tail deluxe. And I guess the reason why they, it doesn't kick in when you're leaning because it would be, it would be actually dangerous. But again, when you say you're leaning, I mean, what degree did I lean? I'm sorry. What, what degree? What's the angle? Um. I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure it's gonna allow you to, 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 to use ABS. At certain angles, but you may stop after after leaning too much. I, I from what how they explained it to me, that only it, it only the ABS only kicks in when you're when you're sitting up up upright because if you're leaning, you know if I, I would think you would um yeah. make ABS to kick in, you know if, if, if it would be more dangerous. But I, I mean I agree I disagree with you. It's gonna work even if you lean, but to a certain angle. 
Probably thirty. Well, thirty nine. Okay. Yeah, to a certain angle. You still have a range. Okay. Probably like uh, uh, fifteen degrees to the right and fifteen degrees to the left. So the range is thirty thirty degrees. And okay. You want, but if you need too much now, maybe you're right. Because because it, because it, 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 regular right, you gotta lean to the right and left. You're not gonna be upright all the time. Yeah, that's correct. You're right. Uh, let's go to here. So guys, look at look at this uh, caliper. Here here is gonna be the exam. I'm gonna be in some pictures, uh, some videos. I'm gonna uh, ask you to look at the caliper and ask you is that one double piston? It's very obvious. You have double piston right here. And look at the geometry. Look at the geometry. Guys, can you see this one here? The whole caliper, that caliper has a name. The caliper has a name. I'm going to tell you the name. I'm going to tell you how you know the name. No. You're right. That caliper, they call it floating caliper. And that pin right here, they call it floating pin. Floating? Floating, sir. F-L-O-A-T-I-N-G. I'll write it down on the board. You can see. It's called floating. You're gonna float. F L O A T I N G. Can you see? Oh no. Yes. Alright. Yes, we can. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for supporting me. So it's called floating. Why is it called floating? Because when you guys apply the brakes, that's, that caliper is going to move. You know why? Why is it going to move that caliper? It has to move. Because so you, have, you have the piston only on one side. If you have the piston on both sides, <coughs> that caliper has a name. They call it a fixed, fixed caliper. So you have to know the difference between fixed caliper and floating caliper. Floating caliper has the piston on one side. Fixed caliper has the piston on both sides. So it's on this side here. So see, see the error here of the mouse right here? You have a piston on the other side, opposed, opposed piston. Then it's called fixed caliper. So the caliper does not move. Uh, the problem is with, with, the, with the floating caliper, that is the floating pin. If that pin is not greased right, and what's going to happen? What's going to happen, you find that the shoe on one side is warm than the other shoes on the other side. So if you have, if you have, if you have the situation, you have like one, one side of the, of the, of the pad warm, and the other side of the pad is not warm, that because that caliper is not floating, and he, that caliper should float. So it depends on the, the grease here on, on this pen. You have two pens. You have one right here, and you have another one right here. So from this picture, guys, I, I tell you something. Uh, how you tell if it's floating caliper or not, if you see pistons opposing each other. These two pistons are, are next to each other, but if you see a piston, Opposing each other, that is fixed caliper. The so, one you see in the front of you, that is floating caliper. So this one is fixed? Uh, guys, look, look at the Mr. Mr. Kim, he's helping me here. And he has fixed caliper. How many pistons do you have? Can you go up and down? How many, how many pistons do you have? Two pistons. Two? Yes. Yeah, you have two pistons. So you have one. You have one on each side, correct. And this one uh, is going to give you, supposedly, uh, the, the wheel should be, should be even on both sides. The problem with this piston, guys, what's the problem with this piston, with this design, the one that Ken has it in his uh, video? Guys, can you guys go to Ken's video, Ken picture and see it? What's the problem with this uh, design? Not much power. Stopping power, I guess. Uh, the problem is when you install when you install this uh, caliper on the bike, 
You have to have room for the other person, and, and sometimes you have no room. That's why, that's why they put the person only on one side. To put the person on both sides, you have to have a room for the inner person. So if you don't have room, then the engineer is going to put the person on one side, because you have, room, no, you have no room on the other side. Then you have to use a uh, floating, floating carriage. Thank you, Ken. Any more question, guys, about floating caliper, fixed caliper? Uh, why we have, what's the difference between them? Uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you have a pad, the pad on the, on the, on the brake, if you see one has more material and one has less material, now you know that caliper is not floating. Then there's a problem with the pins. You have to take the whole thing apart and, and make sure that pin is lubricated and that uh, uh, caliber is sliding on the pin. That's why they call it floating, floating caliber. Ms. Mustafa, can you uh, say again if they're next to each other, if that's floating or fixed if, or if they're opposed? If, if the pins are opposing each other, is is fixed. Okay. The one you see is is floating. It doesn't matter if it's one piston or or two pistons. And I've and seen the caliber guys with three pistons next to each other, like one here, two here, and another a third one right here. And the fixed caliper needs more room, right? Inside Yes, the fixed caliper needs more room. Do you want to put the piston behind oh, the piston? Across the, across the other piston. All right. Yeah, so so you need to have room for that. So uh, if you have if you have uh, let's say racing bike, that parts are compact and try to to make uh, uh, this something called aerodynamic when the bike uh, go fast. You want to make that aerodynamic very uh, very less has has no no friction when the bike goes fast in the in, uh, on on the road. So it, uh, the design will make a difference here. If you have more, if you have enough room, you can put opposed piston. If you have, if you have no room, you can be only uh, floating carriage. Floating carriage. 